Exactly. Wow, what would you think I got you? A watch? I don't have one. So Marie, yeah, Marie, what I got you is a million dollar idea. You and I need to get into the comic business. We could be making a boatload of funny money. I don't think the people that draw these live all that large, Aaron. Yeah, because they're not adapting their shit. But some people know what's up. I mean, look at Stanley. Who's Stanley? He's the creator of Spider-Man. That's Stan Lee. The point is, if we made a comic, it would get syndicated, and then the TV and the film people start calling. I mean, look at everything. Look at the Hulk. Look at the Dark Knight. Marie, look at the gay Green Lantern. It's just the Green Lantern. Mm, he's at least a little bit gay, though. I'll give you that. But those are superheroes in comic books. These are comic strips. They're not meant to be adapted. I can't think of one thing on here that wouldn't bring monster ratings. Not one. Coming this fall, the Funny Pages have a new home on Fox, and we get things started right with the all-American gutbuster Family Circus. How'd you do there, Billy? I almost have enough for an Easter omelet. <laughs> and later... I don't see why your imaginary friend can't eat imaginary food. Sundays this fall. Just tell me when there's a... Take your time, please. Keep pushing. Be careful. How can I help you folks today? Well, we have a bit of a fixer-upper. Yeah, a few touch-ups. That sounds about right. Say that. Mm. What do we have here? We bought the house back in 2006 when it was on sale, knowing that we want to make some changes down the line. And now just seems like the right time. We're not getting any younger. And that is the place. <laughs> So, uh, well, let's start with the exterior then. Great. Uh, it is a plantation style home, but it is not used as a plantation. Not a plantation. Okay. We want to acknowledge the history of the place. You know, the kinds of stuff that used to go on here. At the same time, you know, let it be known. We're not those people. Um, so, I don't know, maybe just a fresh coat of white paint for the siding, but uh, definitely a darker green for the shutters. Maybe a few modern touches. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. And no slaves. Right. We're gonna wanna replace the fence. Mm. Careful. You got it, you got it. I got it. Yeah. Yep, yep. Can you yeah. actually not get it? We got Me? it. Okay. Yeah, we got it. Sure. Okay. And some new carpeting in the parlor and tile in the bathroom. Okay. And we have those dimensions for you already. Right, that's 24 inches in the parlor and then 16 square in the bathroom. All right. The other thing that we really wanted to address was safety. Right. Do you use non-flammable materials? Oh, sure do. A little more expensive, but, but it's know. worth it. Yeah. Know, for the peace of mind. I mean, we have kids upstairs. <laughs> So we were hoping we could knock down this wall and then hopefully get a staircase going down into the kitchen should the little ones, God forbid, ever need to make a quick exit. In case of a fire. Fire, carbon monoxide, or an intruder. There's Steve. Who? Uh, Steve's a neighbor and, uh, I don't know, sometimes he, he just likes to... Oh God, there he is. Oh. What? In any case, we think it's essential that we install a small panic room right down here underneath the stairs. Uh, sorry, what? I know, it looks really snug, but you gotta trust the floor plans, right? Honey, do you have the blueprints? Oh, they're in the living room. Voila. Anything else? Uh, well, one thing that was pretty high on our priority list would have been a shower. Mm. Uh, see, this place, love it as we do is haunted. Probably, but not definitely, by a ghost from the old plantation. Uh, See that tub there? Yeah. Yeah, and we always keep the faucet turned to the left. And then in the morning when we wake up, it's turned to the right. It is so spooky. Oh, one last thing. Kind of a sensitive subject. Would you mind showing us your passport? What? We just want to make sure that we don't have any illegals working on the house. I'm trying to make a bid for city council next year, and uh, that would not look great. Sure, I, yeah, sure. Okay, so what's the time frame here? Okay, uh, about a week. <laughs> well, we're no dummies. We know these things take twice as long as they say. So, see you in two. And our estimate is...
For, for a fucking, fucking dollhouse? <laughs> Hold on to your funny bones, America, because Kathy is coming to Fox. I could try jogging. Ack. <laughs> I could try bikies. <laughs> Ack. I could try push-ups. Nice, Kathy. Oh, nice. Ice cream. It's 2.30 in the afternoon. You know, I can't get on the phone with my parents without them reminding me of what a shit worthless wife you are. So thank you, Kathy, for making me seriously contemplate the pros and cons of suicide. Thank you. <laughs> Kathy, ah! Only on Fox. Thank you guys so much for coming. My daughter Alyssa, Alyssa was a uh, bright and accomplished young woman. Her latest hobby, besides boys, was cooking. And I never got a real chance to take a look at some of the web stuff she was doing. But I know that if Alyssa were with us today, uh, she'd want us all to take a look at her blog. Uh, her her food plot. I guess it has her food on it. So, in any event, here it is. <laughs> Very clever name. Okay, this is her first uh, post. She made some pancakes with blueberries and some kind of sweet cheese. Maybe cream cheese. That's a salad. Okay, that's a chicken dish she made. Looks like breaded chicken. And there's the empty plate. <laughs> Appreciate it all, must have been good. Full plate. Empty plate. Full plate. Empty plate, lots of empty plates. Oh, this is from Melissa's birthday last year. She went to the cupcake shop. Celebrity sighting. Uh, and that's the cupcake wrapper, which says that she indeed did eat the cupcake. Here's an essay that she wrote on arugula. Here's an essay. Oh, this is uh, arugula part two. Vegan peanut butter cookies. Vegan empanadas. Vegan milk. Vegan milk duds. I had no idea she was a vegan. Oh, here's where Alyssa linked her blog to her Twitter. Potatoes are done. Still waiting on the queen wife. Pumpkin ravioli. Pumpkin muffin. Pumpkin cream. <laughs> Even towards the end, she, um... Um... Even towards the end, she... Back to pumpkin. Pumpkin. Pumpkin, 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 Luna Bar, and pumpkin. She must have liked those. Okay, here's a napkin from Junior's, napkin from Chipotle, napkin from Dunkin' Donuts. That's just a play napkin. That's just a plain dirty napkin. It's just a plain dirty napkin. It might not. Posted on the internet. <laughs> and now, for a very special girl's slideshow of her study abroad. Broomhilda is coming out next on Fox. I'm sorry, babe. I just don't know how much longer I can take your sister living with us. Honey, she's not that bad. I'm ready for my day! <laughs> you okay? Brumhilda! <laughs> Only on Fox.